Welcome back 3D students. In this video we're going to add lights and a shadow plane and a background to our scene. But before we get started I wanted to show you something cool that I did. I actually animated the text which is kind of interesting and I'll probably make a video about that as, an, as something you can do uh, if you have time. But interestingly enough I couldn't get it to mod I couldn't get it to animate and have the bend modifier so I don't know why that is but I'll figure that out at some point. So to create our ground plane, let's expand our viewports. You can click this button or hit Alt-W on your keyboard. Go to the top viewport, zoom out a little bit, and then go to the Create tab in the Command Panel and select Plane. And then click in the upper left-hand corner and drag down to the lower right-hand corner of your top viewport. And then go to the Modify tab, turn off Creation, and access the settings for the plane. Now we don't need these subdivisions here, so what we need to do is come over here to the length and width segments that are currently 4 and right click on those spinners to zero them out. And we now have a ground plane. Now so we can see our lighting, let's go ahead and turn on active shade in our perspective viewport. And we've talked about this before. Remember your viewport settings are right here. These are the shading settings. And if you click here, you can see there's lots of things you can do. You can make it wireframe. I can turn on edge faces so I can see the, see the uh, subdivisions. And here are the lighting settings. So here, we want to turn on Active Shade. And that will render our scene in the viewport for us. And it will update live as we add uh, lighting and change the background. So to, check, to add lighting, let's come up here to the Create tab in the Command Panel, which is right here. And this time we're going to select Lights. And we're going to click this pull-down list here and select Arnold. And then we're going to click Arnold Light. And all we got to do is, in the top viewport, just click once. And that adds light to the scene. But everything goes dark. Let's go straight to the Modify tab. Now the reason everything went dark is because this is not the kind of light we need. So let's go into the Modify tab here and under Light Type, let's change it from Quad to Sky Dome. And that should fix the um, problem here, as you can see. So now we need one more light for the scene. We need something to give us our hard shadows. Right now we just have soft shadows. The Sky Dome light is meant to give us uh, soft shadows as we would see outside on a cloudy day. So let's go to the Create tab again. We're still in Lights. Click the Arnold Light button. And before we do anything, let's um, change the light type from Sky Dome to Distant. This is supposed to simulate the sun. And we're going to make it a targeted distant light. And then in your front viewport, above and to one side of your geometry, click and drag down, and that's the target right there. Drag it down and drop it on the ground plane, or somewhere near the ground plane. And then go straight to the Modify tab. And you will now see your hard shadows in your scene right there. Now as we move this light around in the top viewport, you can see the direction of the shadows changes. And we use the targeted light because it makes it easy for us to change the direction of the light in relation to the text, as if the sun was moving around the sky. So now let's change the color of the background. Let's add a gradient to the background. So come up to Rendering and access the Environment Settings right here. And in here we can change the color of the background by clicking here and changing the color or we can add a map or a picture or a computer generated pattern to the environment and if to do that we click this button right here and that brings up the map list you might need to open it up see I had to open up the map list and what we want is a gradient and here is the gradient right here so click that and click OK and that should change your background, but it just turns it gray. And that's not exactly what we want. 
we need to fix something about the settings for this gradient map. But to do that, we need to use the Material Editor. The Material Editor can be found by clicking this button right here or pushing M on your keyboard, M. So once we have the Material Editor up, we can click and drag from here and drop it into this middle area called the Slate and click OK. And now we have our map selected. So we're going to come over here and the setting we need to change is this environment mapping setting here. Right now it's set to spherical. We need to change it to screen. And that fixes our gradient. And we can also change the colors of the gradient if we want. And I suggest you do that. gives it more interest. And the final thing I want to do is get rid of this uh, ground plane. We can add an interesting effect here uh, by using the matte shadow material. So come up to your material editor and drag the matte shadow material out into the center of, of the, this area is called the slate here. And then this is the output node of the material. So to apply it to the plane, what you need to do is click and drag it and drop it on the plane. And you can clearly see we have a different effect now. The plane has disappeared, but we still see shadows. But the shadows are very dark. So to fix that, we need to access the settings for the direct light that we created. So let's close these two windows for the time being and select that distant light that we created. And then come to the Modify tab to access its settings. And the setting we want is the shadow density. It's under shadow, density. And let's change that to 0.5. And that fixes the shadows. So there are clearly a number of things we can do to make this even more interesting. And one of those is to add a texture to the text. And that's what we'll do when we come back in the next video. And I'll see you then.